Well, it's just a question. I mean, it's legitimate. It's it's legitimate. These things are pretty incendiary. You know, the well, because I, of people like you. No, 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 no. <laughs> Come on. Some of the stuff was very incendiary, and you know, saying that in in 1993 yeah. the Israelis were responsible for the bombing of the World Trade Center, that kind of yeah. stuff. So, right. Goodbye. All right, all right. Thank you, Congressman. I appreciate yeah. your okay, answer. Well, I appreciate your answering the questions, and you understand it's our job to Thank answer. You. Thank you. Keeping them honest with a part of Ron Paul's past that you might not know about. And truth be told, it's a part of his past that we don't know fully about. That's because the congressman who is now leading the polls in Iowa gets kind of prickly whenever he's asked about this. And because, as we just learned tonight, his story appears to have changed over the years as well. Now, that's him today uh, taking off his microphone, cutting short the questioning from CNN's Gloria Borger. 